What's going on YouTube? Captain is coming at you. Got a little quick video today. Uh, I wanted to mix up a batch of nutrients, organic nutrients to put in my auto pot reservoir. I thought I would uh, show you a little bit of what I put in, why, and show you how to mix up your own reservoir, should you wish to do so. So uh, yeah, let's let's get into it. What you see before you is my storage area for nutrients and coffee. This side, I have my organic supplies. You know, we got uh, all sorts of stuff from coconut water to aloe vera extract. We got the Kuyaha bud bread. I mean, you know, all sorts of stuff over here, guys. This side, I got my synthetics, some Athena, this stuff, some mega crop. Uh, and then in the middle here, uh, my microbe life hydro supplies. This is all my, all my microbes and whatnot. So we were talking about a little bit on uh, the Cultivation Conversation podcast last night. These are my primary organic nutrients right here. It's called Bud Bread from Cold War Organics. I love this stuff. Uh, it's kind of an all-in-one organic approach. You get everything mixed into one powder, okay? It's great. However, it does not exactly mix fully in a reservoir. I do not like putting this stuff in my auto pot reservoir because I find it settles out of solution before it reaches the trays even sometimes. I mean, you're gonna find a residue in the bottom of the tray, you're gonna find a residue in the lines, just gonna be a harder cleanup after, after harvest. I mean, you could do it and put like a pump, you know, keep it consistently agitated in the reservoir. I just wouldn't advise it, all right? So my approach with the bud bread is to do like a top dressing. Um, that a lot of times it, it just defeats the purpose of having an auto pot reservoir right there, willing, you know, ready and willing to feed your plants. If only you could give them something that was more soluble, right? You know, like your, your synthetic nutrients are, are liquids and they're gonna, they're gonna be able to dissolve fully in that solution and no problemo. Okay. Something like the bud bread, again, it's, it will suspend in the solution okay but it will it won't fully dissolve and uh, i actually wonder if it, it's able to be absorbed through the fabric pots of the auto pots too i sometimes i wonder if like the particle size is just a little bit too big and something like that so again i don't put anything like this in my reservoir um there are a couple organic options, you know, if, if you really, truly must put some sort of nutrition. Uh, I was using something from this company, the Organics Alive. Um, they, they have a line of, here's a couple, uh, some remnants of it. A line of this, like, it, it's a really fine powder that will fully dissolve, okay? But, and this stuff is fully organic. They got a bloom component, um, a couple of these, like humix and fulvic acids. They work fine in a reservoir, okay? Um, coconut water works just fine. This stuff will fully dissolve and stay that way, right? Um... This stuff, the aloe vera extract, awesome, works works wonders in a reservoir. On the same, you know, extract line of thinking, I got some insect frass extract, which is uh, this. I I love this stuff um, from from this company, Frass Valley. Um, again, it's it's a granule type thing that you would top dress with, not something you're going to mix into a reservoir. That's why you get an extract, okay, a liquid. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of my line of thinking. Like, again, all of this stuff, this is mostly organic, okay? There's a couple components here that aren't, but who's really keeping track, guys? Um, 
really, all of this stuff is fair game. I choose to use what I call a an orgthetic approach in a lot of a lot of cases. Okay, but um, really, the synthetics are for like emergency use only. Um, this is my meat and potatoes type stuff. All right, so. Let's let's mix up some stuff, shall we? Oh yeah, check out this fucking awesome t-shirt I got. Soon to be available. Soon. I'll I'll let you guys know. Oh yeah, another question I always get is Captain, do you always garden in your pajamas? The answer is absolutely yes, 100%. It's all about the vibes, you know? Like you got to you got to keep a relaxed vibe when you're doing your stuff, all right? So I have three buckets, five gallons of water in each one. They're gonna be split in between two reservoirs, one tent full of autos, about nine and a half weeks into their life. They're almost done, okay? And then the other tent is photos who just started flower. So different types of plants and different phases of their life, but I'm gonna add the same fucking thing for both of them, okay? It's about as little work as possible here, right? The, uh, the first thing I'll always add into my reservoirs is this Photo Plus, okay, from Micro Life, Microbe Life Hydro. Great stuff, but oh my God, the smell is something else. You might think you have some stinky organics, but you have not smelled stinky organics until, until you get a whiff of this stuff, but the smell means it's working, guys. Um, and yeah, I just do like an ounce. Got a little shot glass here, an ounce in each five gallon bucket. That is plenty. Um, from my, my, my Microbe Life Hydro uh, selection here, I'll also grab just some of this all in one. It's got micro, macronutrients. I don't think it's, again, it's technically probably not organic, but it's just a little bit of extra, you know, if anything is missing in that soil, this this will give it just that little oomph, okay? It's fully liquid. Don't need to worry about it dissolving. It's all good. So we got those two things. Um, Another thing I always like to add, I, I mentioned it, the worm frass extract. There's no instructions on this. You know, I, I, I don't worry about amounts all that much, guys. We're gonna do a half ounce of that in each bucket. Actually, I'll only do two buckets because, you know, I'm splitting the, those two are going in the, the one reservoir. This one's going in the, the other, okay? So we don't want too much worm frass. Uh, the other thing that I often like to put in coconut water, really good stuff. Um, I had, a, I had like serving spoons out here, but again, it's, it's not about the amounts. Okay. Like we're just literally gonna, gonna pour some into the palm of our hand and we're gonna throw it in the bucket. Like this is the beauty of organics, guys. You don't need to fucking measure. You can just wing it, okay? In all likelihood, it'll be fine. Excuse me. Excuse me. Casper, come on. What are you doing, man? Come here. All right. You want to hang? All right, you can hang. It's my buddy. He's always up helping in the garden, but... By helping, I mean getting into trouble. So that's a pretty good mix, guys. Like, I don't, again, I don't like to overload my reservoir with stuff. Um, up until very recently, I was just putting water in the res and letting the soil feed the plants and doing all the top dressing and stuff like that, too. I am still top dressing. This is just supplementation. There's really very little if any, actual NPK in what I just did, but um, it'll help. And no mixing involved, no pHing involved. This is from the tap into the bucket, a few things thrown into it, 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna put this right in the reservoir, which I will I'll show you quickly, but it's lights off right now, so I can't do a I can't do a whole thing in there. I'll come back and show you the plants later. Here are the reservoirs, and I just dumped the buckets straight in. Just gonna leave them like this. Again, it's lights off time, guys. I don't wanna be in here. I'll come back and show you the tents later, okay? We are back up in the attic, this time with the lights on, so I can show you some plants. These are autos in this tent from 2020 Mendocino. This one is called Hash Skunk. Definitely skunky. And then this squat one down here is called Double Bubble. Just cause she's squat doesn't mean she's not stacked. And they're both on day 70. So they're gonna be out of here in a week or two. Just finishing up. And of course, these are in the original, uh, well, the XL five gallon fabric auto pots. And that's connected to this reservoir right here. In this corner, we have four photo periods on day five or six of flower. Uh, lights are about to shut off, so I have a couple minutes here. Um, of course, these are in the nine gallon XXL auto pots. And man, it only took them a few weeks. I mean, three weeks for them to fill out. You can see the, the roots already busting out of the bottoms of these. It's fucking crazy. These plants are wild. Uh, gave them a nice top dress, like I said. Um, got that mulch layer, rice hulls on top. And uh, the reservoir is looking good, looking really good. There's no, I mean, you know, the water's a little brown because of all the stuff I showed you I added. Uh, I will also show you inside of the tray here. What you can see is like a little bit of what looks like an oil slick on top of the water there. But no, no sediment really, any gunk or buildup or anything like that. Yeah, maybe, maybe a teeny bit of uh, organic gunk, but that's, that's to be expected. Nothing we can't handle. Looking really good, looking really good. Um, and yeah, it's about as easy as it gets, guys, right? I, like, I didn't have to do shit today. I just came in here to, to film a few minutes of a video and uh, just make sure everything is hunky-dory, which it is. Definitely is. Um, and I'll show you, you know, progress in another couple days or next time I do something interesting. But until then, guys... Adios. Talk to you soon. Don't get caught.